What's the word everybody? It's your boy Jay Sykes and I'm back with another tutorial. And today, I'm about to show y'all how to use these little ink overlays that you see. I've been getting a lot of requests on this tutorial. Um, shout out my boy Shot by TJ for showing me the way with this. This is something that he does on a regular. Feel me? We gotta get that boy his flowers, you know what I'm saying? If you want these ink overlays, I'm gonna drop the link in the description. Because I did not make these. These are definitely from somebody from YouTube, man. I forgot his name. It's not on the tip of my tongue right now, but yeah, man. Let's just jump straight into this. So I'm gonna pick an ink transition. I'm gonna pick one that I like. One that I could also match to the beat as well. Something real cool. Once you find the ink that you like, uh, you wanna put it over your footage. Once you put it over your footage, you wanna transform, fit to composition, and now you wanna right click. Put a time, enable the time remapping, and let's make a keyframe at the very end of this clip. Let's like bring it to here. I'm gonna make one more keyframe in the middle, or maybe somewhere on the beat. Let me listen to it. Oh wow, it did it by itself, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fix it just a little bit. You see where it comes in? I want it to come in right where that high tie is. So I'm gonna make a keyframe right there. I'm gonna highlight all three of these keyframes. I'm gonna hit F9. Come to my waveform over here. I kinda like how they look when we drag it up. So we're gonna drag this back, drag this up a little bit. Once you get it how you want it to look, you're just gonna go to the end of the ink transition ink overlay I'm sorry and I'm gonna cut it hit you and your keyboard and drag that keyframe to the end so you don't have a stutter now now you can highlight both your clips and just pre-compose them and move all attributes as well once you pre-compose those this is where the fun happens you want to hit track map or if you don't see this, you're gonna see toggle switches and modes. Me, I have all my switches and modes on, so I don't even have the option, but toggle switches and mode, change to Luma inverted mat. And then you got this. So now you can take this bottle and uh, you can size it up to how much ever you like. And then you can source this up by maybe adding like Maybe adding a deep glow or any kind of glow that you have. I love to use optical glow and deep glow, but I'm gonna use just optical. You know what I mean? For this situation, highlights only. Um, amount, let's take that down just a tad bit. And the size, let's make that bigger. Add some flicker up in there. 0 0.6. Nah, that's, yeah, 0 0.6 should be good. Alright, once you got that look how you want it to, you wanna come back into your composition, your main comp. Let's see how that looks. Boom. Maybe come here, turn this to screen. Or you could keep it on normal. But you know, if you want to show yourself doing like another clip and you want to use this as a transition, I would keep it on normal. And then all you would have to do is have your footage right after this in your main composition. Let's say you edit in Premiere Pro or you do DaVinci, whichever you do. But this is really the gist of this effect. Yeah, man, if you enjoyed that, uh, drop a like, drop a comment, definitely subscribe, share, and I'm going to be back with the next one, man. Peace out.